Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna of course analyze the Bitcoin price. It's not much uh, going on right now here but we will go through all the time frames as usual and also we're gonna have a look at the Bitcoin dominance and also into some very specific altcoins that are pumping like crazy while bitcoin is just hanging around here this eleven thousand five hundred dollar so let's first start with the bitcoin price here in the one hour you can see that currently we are struggling to push through eleven thousand six hundred dollar we have eleven thousand five hundred as a support so far which is a very good sign we even close the daily candle above eleven thousand five hundred dollar and this could indicate that we are building up a new base here to push through twelve thousand again but currently we are still struggling to close four hour candles above our new resistance here at around eleven thousand six hundred dollar and this is what we have to wait for before we can go really bullish also here in the Bitcoin price and in the one hour you can see that currently the 20 and 50 moving average are coming below the 200 which could indicate that we're gonna have some more sell pressure in the next couple of hours so that we have a clear resistance right now here at 11,660 where the 200 moving average is lining up we also had here a sell signal in the one hour time frame but of course this is not that much uh, significant you can see that currently the RSI is coming above the 50 level which is a good sign also it looks like that we are bouncing from it at the moment so as long as the RSI is staying above the 50 we should see here another $11,600 retest coming up and if we switch over into the Bollinger Band right now you can see that we are now again trading on the lower part so it is possible that we are going down to retest $11,500 we have the stochastic coming down to oversold condition and MACD here is quite flat but could have a possible bearish cross so I think in the next couple of hours we could see here a complete retracement back down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band in the one hour so in case that you want to open up a long position if you think that we're going higher then maybe 11,500 will be the perfect entry for you and if we go over into the four hour time frame here you can see that currently we are not able to close four hour candles above the 20 moving average the good thing is that the more we test it the more likelier it is that we're gonna break it and also start to build up support above and currently the price is here at eleven thousand six hundred dollars so this is now the 20 moving average and you also see that the RSI currently is getting rejected from the 50 level so this is a bearish sign that could indicate that we're gonna see some more downwards movements in the next couple of hours in my indicator we had a buy signal so this could indicate that we will sooner or later now break this 20 moving average soon but don't forget we have right now the 200 moving average down here at ten thousand four hundred dollar and as long as we're trading below the 20 and 50 moving average we could drop at any time down to ten thousand four hundred dollar to retest and possibly also bounce from it because this area here had also previously a lot of support and resistance so it is very likely that we may see another sell-off towards 10,500 down to 10,400 before we continue here the breakout from $12,000 potentially but currently there is still a high chance that we could drop towards $10,500 even though we are seeing again bullish momentum building up and also in some altcoins we still see huge gains so it is possible that Bitcoin very soon is gonna break here again this 20 moving average and is starting to build up support above $10,600 but currently we're still waiting for this close so far we're still getting rejected and also if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that we're trading between the two moving averages here so in theory we are trading now between 10,660 and here the bottom of uh, 11,500 dollar 
If we're gonna lose this level, we could easily drop down towards 11,240 again. But if we're able to close this four hour candle above 11,660, the way towards the top here of 12,000 is free to go. So that's why I still think another retest of 12K, we're probably gonna see it as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close above 11,660. We also have the stochastic now in neutral condition and MACD is looking like that here. We could have a bullish cross pretty soon if we are starting to trade sideways here and we're not losing the $11,500 support. And now let's switch over into the daily time frame because here once more you can see that we bounce perfectly from the 20 daily moving average. We also closed above 11,500 yesterday and currently we are retesting here this $11,500. Let's hope that we can keep up with this support here and that we are not gonna close again below $11,500 or even worse below the 20 daily moving average which currently is at $11,200. We have also the RSI cooling off here a bit towards the middle line, which is a good sign. It's good that we are having this healthy pullback right now, but we should also keep our supports in order to be still bullish and expect here a breakout from 12K in the very close uh, future. We had here a sell signal in the daily, but during an uptrend, as long as we are keeping up with our supports, this shouldn't worry us too much. But as soon as we're gonna lose important supports, then I think we could see this play out and you see that we are very overbought and we could see a complete retracement back down into the midline although the RSI may be cooled down completely down to the 50 level maybe even into oversold condition before we continue the move to the upside because if we go over into the weekly you can see that currently we are still far away from all the moving averages and most of the times when we're seeing a bigger correction we are moving towards those moving averages especially here the 20 weekly which is currently at nine thousand six hundred dollar where also our cme gap is lining up and also we have the rsi currently still over bought so also here it is possible that we're cooling off a little bit but let's go over quickly into the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame because here also you can see that we are right now trading between the two moving averages. So between 11,660 and here the bottom of $11,300. So also here we have to keep an eye where we're going to close this daily candle. It's going to be important if we're going to close above or below. If we're closing below, then this is very likely going to drop towards the bottom here of 10,140. And if we have a daily close above, then I think it is very likely that we're gonna test 12k pretty soon we also have the stochastic oversold the problem is only the MACD had here a bearish cross so this could indicate that we're gonna have some pressure to the downside also don't forget my indicator here in daily gave a sell signal so it is possible that we're gonna have a major correction maybe not right now but maybe in the next couple of days this is what we're gonna have to see and that's why the daily closes are very important right now and we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the weekly because here you can see clearly that we are testing here still the top and a retracement back down here also into the middle area here between 9950 even down towards 9200 is possible and even if we would drop down there we will still remain bullish and we would still maintain our bullish momentum here since we had this crash here in March so you see even if we see a correction down to those levels the trend is clearly shifted to the upside all right guys and now let's have a look into the bitcoin dominance because currently it looks like that we could form here this potential descending triangle and if this is gonna play out so if we're gonna have here a major dump in the bitcoin dominance then prepare for a little altcoin boom so that's why it is very important that you also diversify right now into some altcoins even if you prefer to buy more bitcoins instead of some altcoins especially some that maybe you don't like if we're having here a crash in the bitcoin dominance so if we're going to break out here to the downside towards the bottom here of around 59 percent so you can see that we're still in this downwards moving channel here and if we are having a drop here towards the bottom here at 59 percent we could see the altcoins pushing quite hard while bitcoin could remain at these levels where we are right now so that would mean that if you're gonna buy some altcoins especially coins from the DeFi 
DeFi space right now, like Chainlink or Band Protocol, you can do huge gains and all these gains that you get, you can take profits, for example, into Bitcoin. So you will get kind of free Bitcoins because Bitcoin most likely is going to start to trade sideways then while these altcoins are pumping like crazy. And we have seen it already in the last couple of weeks here. This is Band Protocol had just an all time high here at around $18. It came out of nothing here. It came for like from $2 and in a couple of days it went up to $18. And this is what we're going to see here also in other altcoins if we're going to have a crash in the Bitcoin dominance and the profits that you're going to take here you can swap it over straight into bitcoin and like this easily multiply your bitcoins and here also another one chain link chain link currently still pushing here creating every day new all-time highs it's amazing how chain link is performing right now and if we're gonna have a drop here so if we have a major correction in bitcoin most likely also these coins are going to correct hard but then push even harder again to the upside as soon as bitcoin is gearing up again and pushing to the upside because if we're having a bigger correction it's going to be just short lift and you definitely want to take this opportunity and i'm keeping a very close eye here currently on chain link as soon as we're going to have a major correction depending where we're going to top out watch out for the 0.618 fib line currently it's here between seven dollars 40 and ten dollars so if we have a complete retracement back down watch out for these levels especially here the ten dollar level because this also acted as a very strong resistance and support here for a couple of days and if we go over to band protocol also here you can see the 0.618 fib line maybe even down here towards the 0.786 where also here in the past we had a lot of support and resistance so here between four to seven dollars would be the perfect entry if you can catch such a cheap entry price if we are having this big dump but this kind of coins you never know how much they're gonna continue to pump and even if they retrace back down if they're going to pump again most of the times yes but be very careful when investing in altcoins usually i do just swing trades with altcoins so when i see that a coin is going to pump then it's maybe not a bad idea to maybe go and buy some of them because if they're gonna have a breakout to the upside all the profits you can immediately swap over back into bitcoin like this you profit the most so sometimes it's not a bad idea to diversify into some altcoins to take then more profits also back into bitcoin and you know that you can do that over on Binance and on Binance you can also trade with futures so also here you can go long you can go short even on altcoins especially if you want to trade Chainlink for example and if you're still in an account on Binance you can use the sign up link that you find down below here in the video description because with my link you can get 10% off the fees and of course also you support the channel and if you also want to trade Chainlink, for example, with Tether, you can do that over on Bityard or Femex. Now on Femex, you can trade also NEO and Gold, for example. You find all the sign-up links down below here in the video description if you want to try it out. With my links, you can get some sign-up bony in some exchanges and, of course, you support the channel. And those are also the exchanges that I use and I also recommend you the most. Bybit, Femex, BTR, Binance and Prime XPT. So if you need an account on one of these exchanges, you can also use all of them. You can get some bonus and also you support the channel. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget, moon up the like, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell, and at the end of this video is going to pop up our subscription video for our weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. So don't miss it out. Go and click the video that is gonna pop up here at the top and put your comment and bitcoin address in that video so you will be part of our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye